Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Three or four years ago, you wouldn't think of mobile tablets as devices suitable for serious design work, but this might be changing. In part due to the software vendor's desire to accommodate users who prefer to work on mobile devices for many of the jobs they previously did on desktops and laptops. Now, recently at Desso Systems 3D Experience Customer Forum Conference in Vegas, Simon Floyd from Microsoft was demonstrating 3D via Composer, a digital content authoring program running on a Panasonic Tough Book. Think of that as an oversized multi touch monitor, but it is light enough for you to carry around. It runs Windows 8 and can run full blown design software, for example, Katia. A lot of people usually say that if you're running something as powerful as Katia, you can't do it on a tablet. But here we are at Panasonic's booth at Katia, running Katia on a Panasonic uh, tough pack. And I can show it with what the performance here is. This is really good. It's uh, multi touch enabled, and it feels exactly the way it feels on a desktop. Now, battery power is a bit limited on this device. It's two hours according to the spec sheet from Panasonic. So if you're running a graphics-heavy program like Katia, it will probably last even shorter. But this could be the prelude to more professional design programs becoming available on tablets and touch monitors. One of the appeals of being able to work on a mobile device is, instead of sitting at a desk, you can take your design files and your design environment into the field. But in some line of works, construction manager, civil engineer, or manufacturing engineer on plant floor, for example, the device is in an accident-prone environment. For that, look at the experiment Jason Fox, field engineer from Microsoft, did on the exhibit floor on my behalf. Hi, uh, we're at a conference where we're talking about virtual simulations, drop tests, things like that. But Panasonic Toughpad, I'm going to do an actual drop test right here. As you can see, unscathed, everything's intact, still working. Now keep in mind, lightweight viewing and mock-up programs for 3D design are already on mobile devices. You can find plenty of these apps on Android Marketplace or Apple App Store. What we are talking about here is running full-blown 3D design programs. Some might argue people still prefer to be sitting down at their desk when they do serious design work, so putting them on mobile tablets is just a gimmick. Well, in my view, that attitude too may change over time as more and more people migrate to mobile devices for most of what they used to do, sitting at their desk. The anticipated move to mobile devices also suggests, for storage at the very least, the cloud will play a crucial role in the future. That's the topic of my blog post for 3D Experience Conference at Virtual Desktop Blog. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong reporting from Vegas for Desktop Engineering.